Hello everybody. Uh, this is a crab prep from a crab that we found when we did the last video called Busting Open Crab Conks Ended Up With One Good Crab to Prep. This is that very crab. Uh, turned out to be not the best crab, but uh, certainly was far from the worst crab. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoy this. It's, uh, I enjoyed making this video, even though it was a B-grade crab. But uh, enjoy watching. Okay, there's my mark where I was going to cut this rock, this crab inside there. Um, but the day my son comes over to set up the water saw and me to go out there and cut it, it's going to be minus 15, so uh, not going to do that. Plus the hoses will be all frozen and all that crap. Anyways, what I'm going to do is take my uh, super jack, take all this off down to about that line, and then take the uh, this guy. Whoop, Jesus, good going, Ron. And uh, go down to where I, I hauled out the inside of that crab carapace where it was laying. So I'll find that today and maybe call it quits. Anyways, wish me the best of luck. This concretion is soft on the outside, so it looks like I'm moving real fast. But believe you me, it's going to get harder and harder as I go in there. Uh, in fact, it's already getting hard. So anyways, uh, I'll show you my progress in just a few minutes. You can see where it broke. You can see I've gone down to my cut line. Um, I probably got at least another quarter inch to go, but I'm going to start bowling this. Meaning I'm going to make it in the shape of a bowl until I can find that uh, top of the carapace where I carved it, carved out a cave to uh, hopefully not hit the top. Anyways, uh, back to work. Okay. Made a couple passes going a little bit steeper on the edges e each time. And you can see now how that's turning into a bowl. I should be pretty close to the carapace, so it's getting, I don't know, it's a, for me it's always scary. You know, it's been sitting there for 30, 40, 50 million years. Some guy comes along and bam, destroys parts of it. So hopefully that's not going to happen. Cross your fingers. God, that's scary. Gave me a freaking heart attack. Well, you can see I found my cave, but the machine, or the tool, went in there quite a ways. I think I may have hit the carapace. Try to be so damn careful and, uh, Jesus. Anyways, uh, 
that's what I do anyways. So, I'm going to slow down with the other tool and try to expose that and uh, show you what it looks like. Hopefully, I didn't ding it too bad. I went ahead and removed some of this rock on this on the bowl edges now that I know where the carapace is at let's get some of the rock out of my way now I'm going to take the smaller tool smaller air scribe and just start taking this rock off I did hit it. Oh, Jesus. Well, you can see. Let me see if I can get my little pointer out here. You can see where the calcite came off the shell, and I just barely hit it. So I can easily hide it, but it's still disappointing. You try to be so careful, and things still happen. Anyways, uh, Get back to work removing some more rock. Okay, I'll show you in a little bit what that looks like. There's a little bit of rock removed. You can see how bad that looks now. It's tiny, so luckily I'll be able to hide that, but uh, as I said before, it's disappointing. I'm going to take some of this rock down and get the rest of that thing, that carapace exposed, and then see if I can find some claws and legs. Well, I don't know what that is. Doesn't belong there, but it sure looks like a piece of crab. Oh boy. Okay, well, obviously a leg, or what's left of it, seems to go to nowhere. I don't know if it's going to turn back around, turn, make a turn here and go back down the rock or not, doesn't look like it. That's the front of the crab that way. 
So right pincher over here, left pincher over here somewhere. Uh, I leave lots of rock there and go down slowly to find those. Um, okay, I'm going to get more carapace. Oh, a piece of rock popped up. It shows the leg there, so that's an easy way to find the leg. So, back to work. Whoop, Jesus Christ, come on. Jeez. Okay, couple problems. Rock started falling apart here. I'm sh I'm pretty sure I'll be going lower than that, but I don't know for sure. So uh, I just glued all that because it was breaking up, breaking apart in many pieces. Uh, better to save it now and get rid of it, or uh, end up with it being missing because I want this rock to be all the way around. Anyways, uh, yeah, that leg's a piece of junk, but and it's in the wrong spot. What do you do? Uh, this leg turned out pretty good. I think it's making a turn here. Can't really tell. And found the left arm. Looking for the right arm. Did some digging there. Can't find it yet. But uh, you see that crab? It's sitting like I'd say it's sitting a little, a little slight sideways. So it looks like I'm going pretty deep. At least it feels like I am here with the air scribe, but uh, not really. So I'm gonna go down there and see if I can find that that right arm. Wish me the best of luck. Okay, I swear to gosh, I was definitely second guessing myself. Um, if you'll look here, I finally found found the right arm of this critter way, way down here. It looks way down here, but only because of the, so much rock still up here. Uh, I was taking partic particular attention uh, here because legs come out. Uh, but there's no legs there, which is almost disconcerting. Uh, I'm going to take this piece of propotus, see if I can find the, the dactyl, the, move, the movable part of the pincer, see where that's at. Then I'm going to take all this rock off. Maybe some back here too, but I like to find legs first. I uh, don't know, we'll see. Not too happy with it yet, we'll see. Okay, it got real sticky right here, so I'm literally wearing the rock off of the the propotus part here. Um, some people call the that with the pincer parts the chile or the chile. Where this comes to an end, there's a step down in order to find the uh, the movable part of the pincer. <laughs> There it is. I don't know if you can see that or not. That little teeny teeny speck of darkness there. So, got some rock to remove. It's always nice to know that it's there.
by golly is the dactyl of that pincer. Now I'm going to go see if I can find the propotus of this pincer. But I'm going to take a lot of rock off of here first with the Super Jack. Yeah. Okay. It looks real messy where I took off all this rock, but that's, uh, this stuff is glue, where I glued the two halves together. This is the bottom part of the rock, this is the top part of the rock. Messy than heck, it looks ugly, it looks terrible, it'll be cleaned up. Um, so, got the dactyl on that one. Here is, uh, it's hard to tell, but there's the propotus of this one right there just I mean barely hit it so it happens anyways uh, I just wish this leg wasn't there uh, drives me nuts that one uh, but with this legs kind of funky I'm wondering how that rear end is gonna be um, if you're a crab man you like a good rear end <laughs> okay back to work So, I started working on this propotus here. Uh, the pinches are over here. Uh, it's super sticky. So I have to wear off the rock. I gotta go down with this, the side of the stylus. And until I just see color. And that's how tricky this damn shit is. I mean, oh sorry about that. Um, that's how tricky this stuff is. But that's the only way I can do it. It's just a wait till you see color. It's, it's, it's kind of tough. Very tricky, very tricky. That's the way I do it. It's uh, definitely slow going, definitely slows you down, but it's the only way I can do it to save it. All right, there's the propotus. You can see where it was sticky, you can see where it was releasing from the rock, or the rock was releasing from the shell material. Uh, looks much nicer and there is the dactyl so not really looking like a crab yet but it's kind of getting there long ways to go I'm calling it quits for the day see you later everybody okay came out this morning and just got to work no camera no nothing just went straight to work I removed a bunch of rock here Found another leg underneath here. Uh, I don't know if I damaged that elbow, if it was just gone or rotten away or nothing, but that's uh, a bit of a tricky spot. Anyways, the leg underneath this leg comes down there. Uh, took some more rock off here. Took all this rock off here. Took some in the back. Realized that this rear end may be... I got, I got hope, but not much. Uh, now I'm going to... Uh, remove rock to get to uh, expose these dactyls here one and two and go from there so wish me the best of luck
That's pretty tough. Slow going stuff, that's for sure. Okay. Those are some tough pincers. Just they just turn stickier than sticky. Again, I'm having to wear off the rock and just look for color. And it's, believe you me, it is difficult. Um, I did take some more off the face here. I don't know if you can see that or not right there. Hope you can see that. That's its little orbit socket for its, uh, for its eye stock. I'm not saying the eye stock is in there, but I'll find that out later if I can get down in there. Claws are a bit high on this one, face-wise. Um, so I'm just going to start taking this rock off and work it around the crab, see if I can find more stuff, a little more detail work, and uh, hopefully it'll be a decent crab. I just have little hope left for this guy. Well, I lost this little spike right there, left part of its carapace. Placed it back on as carefully as I could. That was hard. It took about eight tries. And then just dropped on a glue of uh, cyanoacrylate, which went everywhere, but I didn't care. I'll just clean it up later. But I saved it. So that's what's important. Right now, I'm just going to start shaping this rock. I'm not happy with this crab. Uh, it'll be a cool crab when I'm done. But right now, I'm just going to shape it up. Shape up the rock the way I wanted it to fit the crab. And call it quits for the day. Tomorrow, I'll clean it up and hope it's gonna look okay man I'll take see if I can get this calcite off okay I've shaped the rock pretty much where I want it for this crab and uh, I've got glue all over here all over there hold this thing together uh, glue in that little hole I glued here I glued here I already told you about this glue spot, glue everywhere here. And I don't know if I showed you, showed you that, glue there. So lots of glue everywhere. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a while and like till tomorrow. And then I'll attack that. And that's the little wire brush I'm gonna use to see if this uh, calcite, thin layer of calcite, but it doesn't belong on there. So anyways, till tomorrow. Okay, this morning I decided to dig out these areas, see if I can get those lower pincers. Not the best, but at least they're there, so that's good. Now I'm going to clean up a little bit of the other areas, and then I'm going to take the old grinder here, smooth that out real quick, finish up the edges with the, uh, the edges meaning the uh, areas where the rock meets the shell material on whatever, whether it's leg or claw or carapace. And uh, call it quits. And that's going to be one B grade crab for sure. It's a slow process job, but uh, 
you can see the idea is to get rid of all these scribe marks which uh, really dresses up the rock quite nicely and we'll take a piece of junk like this crab and turn it into a fairly nice looking crab so this is going to take me probably an hour so I'll see you later There, that didn't take so long. About 35 minutes, I guess. Um, yep, I'll brush this out for you. Whew. You can see with glue where the rock was glued back together. Uh, bad spot here, a hollow spot here. Glue mark, glue mark, glue. Um, but still, that looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? I would say so. I'm now going to clean up around the edges with my air scribe and then I'm going to attack this carapace. So with this, all I do is I clean up these areas. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just see how rough that looks. I'm going to smooth all this stuff out. Just clean it up a little bit, make it look a little nicer. It's all a process. Okay, that's it for, for the edges. So that little bit of cleanup, only 15 minutes, give or take. Um, and it looks better already. So now I'm hoping that I can get this uh, calcite off. Let's see, with this little steel brush, it's either gonna come off or it ain't. Uh, hopefully it will, it should. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna at least fill in these three little bad areas just to kind of make it look a little bit better so let me change over to that tool and decalcify moment of truth you're here with me to see this last time I did this it kind of made a mess of the shell depends on how hard that shell material is Hmm. Let me turn this down. It's like a little bit of work, but that's coming off extremely nicely. I'm going to do that to the entire shell, or at least with parts I can reach. But I can't reach, then I got to be super, super careful and just barely touch the calcite with the tip of this stylus styli, however you say that and without doinking the shell it'll come off but that's very time consuming so I'll be back in about 15-20 minutes okay <laughs> the only spot I tried was the only spot it was really coming off for the rest it was just polishing it which is what I was afraid of so now it's going to be this Kind of beats up the shell, but it's the only way to get the calcite off. Anyways, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's coming off very slow. Oh, Jesus. Kind of bad at that. Sorry about that. Um, it's coming off very slowly. Now I gotta do that to, to all that, so. I will be back. Wish me the best of luck. So, looks a little messy, but I'll clean it up pretty easily. What I'm doing is, I'm using just the side of the stylus to just touch. I'm having to constantly angle this because even though it looks smooth, it's got a lot of contours on that crab shell. And in order for that crab shell, or the 
calcite to hit or this to hit the calcite it's got to be at the right angle however however you have to hold that anyways just to show you hope you can see this and you got to be super careful calcite is really thin oh, it's almost hard to be careful enough oh, like that oh, one little tiny slip Anyways, uh, I'll show you how to clean that up when I'm done here. It takes a bit of concentration, and I used to be a, used to have a steadier hand at that. Anyways, uh, most of the calcite's off, but now it looks terrible and horrible. But you take this, Not going to be perfect, but that does a fairly good job. Cleaning that shell up. How's that look? Oop, let's get some light on this, Ronald. Jesus. There you go. Now I'm going to fix these little holes here then I'm gonna sauce that up and yeah, I'll as well fix that too if I'm gonna fill up the holes geez it's always something anyways uh, not a bad little not a bad little stupid crab but not good enough for my collection but still I like working on them sometimes all right Two part putties, part A and part B. I mixed up a lighter color and a darker color. Lighter color for the outside of the rock. 
darker color for these insides of the rock. Being that it's been tooled, it just turns it darker. Anyways, um, if you haven't seen this in one of my other videos, what you do is you fill this, press really good. Don't want it coming out. This isn't hard to do, just fill it the way you want it. Um, got a putty knife with a little bit of water on it. Just to shape that rock, shape that to the rock. Then I've got my crab rock here, which I poured into a piece of paper. I call it my crab dust. I always save extra rock just for these kinds of reasons. And all I do is take some rock, push it into the putty, That's not perfect, but that Grand Canyon is gone. Then, I take the darker stuff, don't need this crap anymore, and very careful, whoops, clean that off, very carefully, probably a little too dark, but we'll fix that. Press it really, Jesus. Press it in real good to where you want it. Then, shape it to the rock. In the hole there, boy, I don't know how to get in that hole, but here goes, here was nothing. Jeez. Don't know if you can, you know, my hands are in the way. Well, you just have to know that I'm doing it. How's that? When you think you filled it, put some more in there. Can't hurt, right? Right. And then, for this little tiny spot right there, to finish her up, Now, take my finger, put it in the water, get it wet. That's going to shape the putty where I want it. called the old fingernail job <laughs> yeah that's the ticket wipe that down take a little bit of my dust just rub that dust in there just to kind of hide it a little bit it's not gonna look perfect but it's far from a perfect crab but at least those areas are, of course now that's going to change once it, once it cures and dries and stuff, but uh, at least those little tiny miniature Grand Canyons aren't there, and that's what I'm trying to get rid of. So, I'm going to sauce that up with my Glyptol mixed with acetone uh, in the shot glass, and with my little tiny little tiny art brush so this baby's almost ready far from the worst crab far from the best crab so that's why I call them B grades 
anyways glad I finished that here's a little close-up look got a lot of problems but it's still a crab and it looks like a crab three little legs on this side two on this side just probably I think there's one more underneath there but uh, that's not gonna happen that might have been this one here anyways uh, there you go